Simple Florida Fishing here, and uh, I know it's been a while since uh, I made a video, so I figured today we'll get out and try to get on some fish. Um, it's going to be a land-based fishing video, and I don't know if you guys can hear or not, but it is quite raining outside. So, um, yeah, I've been uh, not really having much time to really fish too much between, you know, landscaping every day of the week, and um, also I bought a new truck, but that will be a video for the future trying to fix it up and all that so I haven't really had much time to fish but today the plan is to try to go hit some golf course ponds for maybe even uh, tarpon snook something like that and then uh, also a couple other land-based spots on the way back so uh, let's get to it and try to get on some fish Alright guys, so since it is kind of fully rainy, um, I'm not too sure how the audio is going to be. So, hopefully y'all can hear me just fine. If not, then uh, I guess just enjoy catching some fish. Alright, I really hope I don't get kicked out within 5 minutes considering it is about 9am right now. And all these setups, or setup and lures that I'm using in today's video will be left in the description down below going to start off throwing a NLBN mini mullet. My fingertips are literally numb right now. It's like 55 degrees out here and obviously raining. Oh, something just ate it right there. Looked like a small snook, not sure really. Let's see if I'll come back for it. Oh, again, right there. Same spot, same spot. Pretty sure it's a small snook. Come back for thirds. trying to keep my eyes peeled for any club cars. Just saw that one, but he backed away pretty weird and left. So. I don't know if he's calling more buddies to ambush me or what, but I'm just gonna keep fishing. There we go, little snook. I watched him eat it. Now he's decent, he's probably like a 23. Look at that. Came up and crushed it. Oh yeah. Nice rainy day snook. Come here, buddy. Man, he crushed it. I don't know if the camera picked that up all the way, but he like he like did a 180 on it. Come here, buddy. Yeah, it's been a minute since I caught a snook, that's for sure. Nice. Check that out, guys. Woo. Probably about a 23, 24 inch snook. Just crushed that little mini mullet right there. Hopefully the camera picked that up pretty well. All right, let's get him unhooked and back. Perfect hooks that too, right on the top of the mouth. Woo. 
There you go, buddy. Off he goes. All right, I just had to retie from that one. Creek mouths are always pretty good and stacked up with fish. Let's see what's up in the creek over here. Super shallow, but sometimes there'll be some big ones hanging out in the middle. Never know. We'll just cut over back to the pond I first started fishing. It's all pretty much one pond, just connected by a creek. But um, I'll head to this side and fish this back to uh, where I came in. All right, last cast. Okay, that's it for this spot. Alrighty guys, so got on a nice little snook there um, here at the golf course. Thankfully didn't get kicked out, but uh, I could have probably fished a bit longer, but I didn't want a club car to pull up and cause some BS with the cops or whatever. So um, I guess now we will go hit uh, maybe a couple canal spots or a pond spot or something. I still don't know exactly where I want to go, but got a couple spots in mind. So y'all stay tuned. Let's hit some canal spots. Uh, the canal is pretty low right now, but since it's raining, it is flowing. So that gives me some hopes that there might be some snook or something hanging around. And I switched up the mini mullet to a different color. This is a limited batch color. Um, I believe it's called Whiskey Sour. Like I said, everything I'm using will be left in the description down below. Let's go hit another spot. Whoa, whoa, that was close. Whew, that could have been bad. All right guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. Um, like if you guys enjoyed the video and subscribe for more fire fishing content. Um, I've been absent lately due to working all week and uh, trying to fix up my truck and everything, but I hope to uh, start to be at least a little bit more consistent, maybe a couple videos a month or so. Um, next video, maybe we'll go kayak fishing, try to get on some redfish before the winter time's over and uh, maybe some more bass fishing or whatnot. Comment down below what you guys want to see in the future. Um, so like I said, subscribe for more fire fishing content and leave a like if y'all enjoyed the video. So thank you for watching. Y'all stay safe, keep fishing, and tight lines. Catch y'all in the next episode of Simple Florida Fishing.